Members of the People's Democratic Party, the PDP in Edo State, took to the streets of Benin City to protest the recent Supreme Court ruling on the Imo State governorship elections. Our correspondent Amadine Uyi has the rest of the story. We must fight for freedom. The protest was a reaction to the recent Supreme Court ruling, which sacked the governor of Imo State, Emeka Ihejoha. The protesters say they came out in mass to express their displeasure over what they termed an electoral fraud. Nigeria needs is freedom. Freedom come, my little, my little, for freedom come. I've come out today to register our protest and to say a total no to this uh, development that is trying to rear its head in Nigeria. We're in the judiciary that is the last hope of the common man has been turned to a marketplace where justices of the Supreme Court will reach a decision that contradicts even his earlier decisions on many plethora of cases. The protesters urged the seven-man panel of the Supreme Court that ruled on the case to reverse its decision. We want to say that it's the decision of the Supreme Court has affected the Igbo State gubernatorial election was reached per courier. Uh, to that effect, we are asking for a revision. That judgment must be revisited. The Supreme Court is bound to, re to redirect and uh, properly readdress the issue because it has, it has laid down a series of precedents. And the Supreme Court cannot continue to behave as if they are a cash and carry body. Similar to the protests which took place nationwide on Sunday, January 19th, we are calling on the Supreme Court to reconvene and review rulings of the Imo State government election case, which was ruled in favor of Uzadema, who came forth in the figures released by INEC as the statutory commission empowered to conduct elections in Nigeria. Is that our agreement? Yes! Some other protesters used the opportunity to call on President Muhammad Buhari to sign the amended electoral act into law so as to reduce cases of violence during polls. Calling on Mr. President to sign the amended act, so that the uh, uh, electoral act, so that we can have free and fair elections in this country. A situation where some persons will just go to polling booths, hijack, you know, polling uh, uh, documents, ballot papers, and all what have you, and start allocating electoral marks so their parties, I mean, should be stopped. Mr. President, we are calling on you, please sign this electoral act. This will go a long way to solve all these problems we have in our elections. Please, we are begging you. This is just what we want from the government. Yes, the amendment act that has not been passed into law, that has not been signed, assented to by the president, is still pending. And if that is the only machinery at which we can actually define our adult suffrage in election, in any election. You know the press are critical stakeholders when it comes to election matters. We are all watching and we are not happy that that amendment copy of that electoral act has not been assented to by the president. The protesters say they fear the upcoming Edo State governorship polls will not be free and fair. I want government to live up to its responsibilities especially the guarantee of free and fair elections. Amadin Uyi, Plus TV Africa.